Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel Asian Programmer. So today we're gonna make a pro small program in which we will convert any base from range 2 to 16 in decimal. So today we're gonna just make a decimal conversion program in which from any base number we will just convert that particular number to the decimal number. So let's start. What we need to do, we need to make a function called base 2 10 or we can say decimal base to decimal okay uh, in which we will just pass a string string number I'm get passing the number in string because when the base will be like 15 or 16 the number will have like alphabet A, P, C something like that so then you will not cater with integer and I, after that we'll just send an integer base okay that which base number is is that particular number related to which base <coughs> sorry okay what we need to do we need to make a map over here character and integer name it called check okay check of a will be equals to 10 and to copy this from v okay. this will be 11 b c <coughs> 12 d 13 15 f and e will be 14. So these value will be held when the value uh, when the particular number gonna have this uh, this value in it. For example, if their number is like 1 f, then it will be equal to 31 in in decimal base if we convert from hexadecimal to decimal. So what we need to now we need to make few integers which will carry out our uh, helpers called temp c and k. Okay, temp c k equal to zero. I'm just initializing this particular to zero right now. So we need to make some base conditions over here. If base is less than two or base is greater than sixteen, I will just return minus one, which will specify that it will no, we will not gonna cater this base. It is not it is unvalid base okay if else if if base is double equals to 10 for example if someone enters a number and wants to convert in base 10 and the number is already in base 10 so we will just return that particular number that's it return sty number i'm using sty function it will just convert string into number that's it because our function return value is fun, uh, integer that's why I'm just converting the string into an integer and returning the value from the function okay I'll say if base is less than 10 okay there are like two ways if base is greater than 10 then we have to just cater a one thing if base is less than 10 then we can simply do our functionality okay here k will be equals to uh, number dot length number dot length minus one we have to loop for integer i is equal to zero i less than number dot length i plus plus and here we'll just say c will be equal to number of i minus zero okay this thing will just convert one index value of a string into an integer for example if our string is like 1 1 so it will uh, it will take one from the first index but it will be a string character so it will with this minus zero character it will just convert that particular string character into an integer you can do like this after this you just need to uh, write temp plus equals c multiply by power with base and over here k and then k minus minus that's it and after this 
for loop we will just return that temp value okay there is like one more condition left if the base is greater than 16 uh, greater than 10 so in, we will cater that in the else part so now we know that if function comes in else bracket so the base is greater than 10 what we need to do we'll just make an if condition first we will do like this k is equals to number dot length minus 1 then here we will just need to make if uh, <clears throat> number of i you have to loop through it or int i is equal to i is equal to 0 i less than number dot length yep i plus plus okay if number of i is double equals to a or I will just copy these okay. if number of i is equal to a number of b or c or d or f or, or e so if number of i is equals to this what I need to do I will just do like this c is equals to check that we have made a map the number of i we we'll just assign that particular character value to uh, in which is present in that map and we will we will assign that particular value to c else else what we need to do else c is equal to same similar which is we have done above like c number of i minus <coughs> 0 equal like this ok that's our else part now what we need to do we need to just we will do the same thing over here as well this thing that's the two line code again here we have closed the else and if you will look the bracket carefully when you are coding it so you will not gonna find any error ok that's it after this for loop in the else bracket we will just put down <coughs> temp over here like this okay here we write an extra or we will just delete it okay let's let's check our program base to decimal in which we will just enter 1 f and the base well num the base which is this number belongs to is base 16 so it will return a particular value let's say c out after conversion to decimal to conversion to decimal the value is like this we will just print this value and let's see what will, will be the answer why oh, it's giving error ok why well, because we have to write the opposite operators ok so after decimal conversion after conversion 16 1f to decimal it give us 31 answer so if we can cross check 1f will be equal to 31 as well let's give another value to it let's say we will give 0 1 1 and the number of this base will be 2 so now we will just giving the base 2 number 0 1 1 which will be equal to 3 in decimal base so after conversion to decimal the answer is 3 it is right let's say we will give this number 0 1 4 and this number is base 5 I have to check it but this number is now in base 5 so let's say after conversion to decimal it's 9 we'll just open um, 
base 5 to decimal conversion to, to just cross check that our function is working right or not okay base what were what was the base 5 number 014 so 014 look the answer is 9 over here that's it so we are right I have made this particular program just to show you guys you can convert any base from range 2 to 16 in decimal from this function it is easy you will not do any you don't you will not do have to do any big things you will just have to write this particular small program it is not more than like 40 50 lines that's it and you will con convert any base from base from range base 2 to 16 into a decimal i hope you guys like my video if you want this code i will just put in to my description link i'll put the link in the description so you can get this code as well and if you are you still gonna find any errors you can tell let me know that i can rectify right now we will not cater anything uh, a few things let me tell you what so we are sending like few values like if oh not like this we have to make a condition if this value which we are sending is double equals to minus one what we need to do is see out value is unvalid and value is not valid because we are sending the minus one value else see out that particular thing that's it this one here you go so if you do like this this is the uh, program which will run similar look at this the program is running fine you can convert in any base any base number from range 2 to 16 in decimal i hope you guys liked my video do like and subscribe my channel thank you very much bye bye